Number 32. Pressure cookers have been around for more than 300 years. Although their use has strongly declined in recent years, early models had a nasty habit of exploding. How much force must the latches holding the lid onto a pressure cooker be able to withstand if the circular lid is 25 centimeters in diameter and the gauge pressure inside is three, th 300 atmospheres? Uh, neglect the weight of the lid. Well, maybe maybe this is why they exploded. Uh, 300 atmosphere, or maybe there was just explosions in the device. I mean, this is an insane amount of pressure. Um, there must be, maybe they meant to have three atmospheres. But I, I, I'm going to do the problem as I see it with 300, but this is definitely not the pressure inside of a pressure cooker. Uh, your food would be cooked in maybe 30 microseconds if that was the case. Uh, anyway, so uh, where were we? Oh, how much force? Okay, so we got to somehow figure out force. We're talking about pressure and whatnot. So why don't we start with this equation over here on the right hand side? So we got pressure will be equal to the force applied divided by the area. So what we have is we have this insane amount of pressure inside this pressure cooker, 300, 300 atmospheres worth of pressure pushing on all aspects of the container. And we have a lid here and the lid is going to be latched. I don't know how many latches there are. It doesn't say I don't have a pressure cooker, uh, I guess because I'm afraid of it exploding. So I don't know how many latches there are. So that, that will depend, though, on, um, you know, the, the more latches there are, the less force there will be per latch. So let's just assume there's four. I mean, we can assume there's three or two. I don't really know. Um, in any case, <clears throat> so let's uh, so let's in order to find the force here in the formula, right, we need to just take the pressure and multiply it by the area. So, it, you know, in terms of the gauge pressure here, that's basically the pressure that's inside and that is uh, unbalanced by the uh, atmospheric pressure. Okay, so you might be thinking, well, do I subtract if, if this is under, you know, uh, if this is at sea level, should I subtract one atmosphere or whatever to balance it? Anytime you're given the gauge pressure, that is the unbalanced uh, total, that's the unbalanced pressure, basically. So this is the pressure that we're working with. And it told us the uh, diameter, right, of the circular lid. Uh, what I did here was I converted that for, uh, to uh, radius. I divided the diameter by two, and then I also converted this into meters, all right? So basically, I got everything set up. Now, all we got to do is just calculate force, all right? So force will equal the total pressure. But remember, in this equation, pressure needs to be in Pascal. So we have to take our 300 atmospheres and convert it into Pascal's. Right, I'll do that actually within the formula itself. So remember that for every one atmosphere, there's 1.013 times 10 to the fifth Pascal. So this takes care of the pressure and then times the area, it's circular, right? So we're dealing with pi r squared. So the radius here, we got 0 .0, uh, excuse me, 0 0.25 over two, square that. And now we can just throw this on into the calculator and we can get our funny result. So 300 times 1.013 times 10 to the 5 times pi times uh, parenthesis 0.25 over 2 squared. And I get a value of about 1.49 or so, 1.49 times 10 raised to the, it looks like 6, 6 newtons. Okay, that's a million newtons or 1.5 or so million newtons, right? In terms of like what mass that would be equivalent to, think about F is equal to uh, MA, just divide out 9.8 from that. And you're talking about 152 kilograms. So that would be like, you know, that'd be like, I mean, if you were to invert this, if you had the, um, if you had the top here and you put down, you know, and you put 155,000 kilograms, 155,000 kilograms on this thing. These latches would have to hold on to something so that it doesn't so that it doesn't break. I mean that's that's nuts. So as you can see, it's a little unreasonable. I think they meant to have a three, you know, 3.00 maybe. But in any case, um, this would be the answer. And then you know, depending upon however many latches we have, we can divide this answer by the number of latches to then find uh, the. Uh, force per latch. I, I don't know how many latches there are, though. Doesn't say. So choose whatever number you want and divide it out. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, please remember to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take care.